Hey, this is Edo, Metal Outdoors 316. If you're new, welcome. If you're subscribed or coming back for more, I really appreciate you. Today, I'm gonna dive into an essential topic for all boating enthusiasts and anglers, battery power for your trolling motor. Specifically, I'm gonna be reviewing the Red Odeo 12 volt, 100 amp hour LifePo 4 battery, and I'm gonna compare it to traditional lead acid batteries. So in this video, I'm gonna cover what is lithium and why is it used in batteries, the key features listed on the Red Odeo's website of the LifePo 4 battery, a comparison between the LifePo 4 and lead acid batteries, we'll be going over the pros and cons. I'm also gonna be going over the 14.6 volt, 20 amp lithium battery charger from Red Odeo. Then I'm gonna show you how I install it in my boat. And I'm gonna test the results on the water and give you the results with the Bluetooth app. And finally, I'm gonna give you my recommendation on up Upgrading from a lead acid battery to a LiPo 4 battery and my thoughts about the Red Odeo company. Let's get into it. Before I move on, I'm gonna go over an unboxing. It took about three days to get here and it did come from Amazon. If you look on top, no post bolts are in the top phone. Here's what it looks like inside the box. Looks like we got a manual and some foam to take out. And right here it says post bolts. Here's what was in the bag. There's two post bolts. Each bolt has two flat washers and a lock washer. And then there's two plastic caps. So we got our instruction manual, got a zipper on it. There we go, product manual, smart 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, RG24, this is group 24. This is the Bluetooth model. So let's go ahead and pull the battery out and see what that looks like. When I pull that off, this is what it was. Down here, this is wrapped up in some plastic. Here is what we got. Red Odeo 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, low temp RG24. There is a sticker on top with all of your uh, ratings. So it looks like that just came right off. Looking at the other side of the battery, we got some do nots and a caution. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the battery charger. And there we have what the box looks like. Very nicely packaged. Here is the battery charger. Down here we got another connector and this has the eyelets for the battery post. Looks like we got a spot right there to hook up the power cord. This does not appear to be an onboard battery charger. So I'm not gonna be able to just mount this in my boat. We got product manual. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So what is lithium? Lithium is a lightweight metal. It's known for its high density energy and it's revolutioned everything from electric cars to power tools. And now it's changing the game in marine batteries. And the reason for this is a lithium iron phosphate battery. LifePo 4 is a more advanced version of the lithium ion. It's, it offers several key benefits but I'm gonna give you two really good ones. Number one, safety. So now that I've covered why lithium iron phosphate is a game changer, I'm gonna dive into the specifics of the Red Odeo battery with Bluetooth and how it compares with a lead acid battery. This battery that I am reviewing is a Red Odeo 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery with Bluetooth for remote monitoring of battery status. It is designed to be a direct replacement for lead acid batteries of the same dimension. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure this for you real quick. We're supposed to be about 10 and a quarter inch long. So that's right. Just slightly over eight and a quarter high and just slightly over six and a half inches. Now let's talk about some of the key features that's advertised from Red Odeo. Long life cycle, guaranteed 4,000 cycles at 100% efficiency, up to 15,000 cycles depending on use. What this means is performance should not degrade for at least 4,000 cycles. I perform approximately 150 cycles every two years. That's about when I replace my lead acid battery. If I calculate that out to get 4,000 cycles, 
out of this battery right here, that would last me for 26 years. If you cycle this battery every day for 4,000 cycles, that should calculate to just over 10 years. Now, if you fish that much, you need a good battery. Lighter weight, 50% less than a comparable lead acid battery. I'm gonna demonstrate for you. I'm not a very strong person. No way I could do that with a lead acid battery. Now, less weight equals better boat performance, less wear and tear on your boat and outboard, faster speeds. And for me, that means I'm gonna be able to get to more fishing holes and put more fish in the boat. Faster charging, charges in five hours with a 20 amp lithium battery charger. A consistent power output, 100% power delivery until the battery discharges. What this means is, is as you're discharging that battery, that, per that performance should not drop off for the entire cycle. We know that with a lead acid battery, we're out there, we're using it. As we use it, the battery gets weaker and weaker. We have less power to control the motor. So now I'm gonna talk about the built-in battery management system, BMS. This protects against overcharging or over-discharging. Those two things will shorten the life cycles of the battery. Short circuits, in the event you get a short circuit, it's gonna limit the power output to 500 amps for one second. Overheating is gonna prevent the battery from being charged when the temperature gets above 122 degrees Fahrenheit. A low temp cutoff, if operating or charging the battery in extreme cold can damage your battery permanently. This protects it from being operated in temperatures below a negative four degrees Fahrenheit. And it also protects it from being charged below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you happen to need a model that will operate in lower temperatures, they do sell a self-heating version of this right here. It was uh, 239 for the self-heating one. Uh, this one right here in particular is $199.99 with the, just regular with a Bluetooth. So now I'm going to talk about the configuration options. These can be wired up in series or parallel up to four batteries. So if you put them in series, you can get up to 48 volts. Depending on your, your battery that you're getting, they do have some that are greater than 12 volts. Some of them are 24 volts. This right here is a 12 volt. So if you was to put these in series up to four, you get 48 volts, but they recommend 36 volts for trolling motors. Or you can wire them in parallel and you can get more capacity out of it. You can get 12 volts with the, basically the capacity of four different batteries batteries if you need that. Bluetooth compatibility pairs with a mobile app for monitoring battery health in real time. This includes your power, your current, your voltage, and your capacity. You can manage the discharge of your battery. It's recommended to be stored at 50% so you can discharge it down to 50%. You can also use the app to power the battery off. Charging a lithium battery requires a special charger. So I'm gonna talk about the Red Odeo LifePo 4 charger. It's a 14.6 volt, 20 amp charger. Comes with a two year warranty. And you can use a different brand or whatever, just as long as it's for lithium, but uh, they offer one on their website for $79.99. And this has the three stage where you have the pre-charge, the constant current, and the constant voltage modes. If you want to see this battery tested and application out on the water, stick around. But before I do that, I'm going to show you how I'm going to install this one in the boat. So let's see what the state of charge is on this battery straight out of the box. 3.2 volts. According to the product manual, how to estimate the battery charge, this little chart from 10 to 12 volts is zero. So this is completely discharged. So this is completely discharged. I'm gonna see if the app will connect to it or if I'm gonna have to charge it first. Bluetooth connection unsuccessful. Let's go ahead and charge it up. Now here is a pigtail connector. So you can hook this up and that way you don't have to remove it every time. All you gotta do is just hook your battery charger into this. So I have M8 bolts and I've got a 13 millimeter socket. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this pigtail. So the way that this is gonna work, you're gonna have a flat washer on the bottom, your lead in the middle, another flat washer, and then a lock washer next to the head of the bolt. Now I'm gonna hook up the battery charger. Looks like this is only gonna go one way. It goes right in there. And we're gonna hook it up. I'm gonna note what time it is. This battery should charge up in five hours as long as it will start up. Hopefully I don't have that problem with the battery being too low. 
Got a green light right there flashing. Turn it on. I'm going to go ahead and see what voltage this battery charger is putting out. Should be around 14.6 volts. Thirteen point three, it's a little bit low. So it's three twenty-eight. I'm gonna come back at about eight thirty. That'll give it five hours, and his battery should be charged up. So coming back out here at an hour and a half, it's now four fifty-nine. Just to see if this is gonna connect, and uh, this has only been about an hour and a half, and it's telling me I have just over an hour left. State of charge seventy-eight percent, and look at the capacity. It's saying. Uh, 78 amp hours so we're gonna come back about an hour and a half and see if that's correct so i come back out here it's only been two hours this battery's charged up already it says 100 percent and we have 100 amp hours and if you look down here on the charger we got a solid green light so it is fully charged This test I'm doing right here is to check what the resting battery voltage is. What it says to do in the manual is to remove the charger and put it in a no current position for at least three hours. And this is what your actual battery voltage is supposed to be. Now this app right here is showing 13.4 and it's showing that it hasn't lost anything. And it also says that this is not your true voltage. It says to add 0.5 to 0.7 volts to that. So I'm gonna check it with my meter and see what it says. 12.79, 12.78. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back seven o'clock in the morning, that'll be 12 hours later. I'm gonna test it again and see if we have any discharge going on with it. 12.78 volts is really, really close to its rated 12.8 volts. Back out here 12 hours later, everything's showing good. I've also got my meter hooked up and it's reading 12.75, so I've lost about 0 0.03 volts which is not bad. You have to keep in mind that that circuit board in there with the Bluetooth is running constantly, so it's gonna draw a little bit of power all the time. So one thing I did not do was add in the 0.5 to 0.7 volts to the resting voltage, which is 12.75. So if I add that in, I'm gonna get 13.2 to 13.4 volts, which matches what it says on the Bluetooth app. To access the battery functions, you just swipe up here on the bottom. So what we have right here is a discharge function. If we turn it off, it will discharge. We can remove the device from the app and we can also turn it off. I'm gonna go ahead and test the turning this off and we'll see what the battery voltage is. So the only downside of this, turn it back on, you'd have to charge the device again. So I'm gonna charge it back up. Now it's time for the most important test, and that's out on the water fishing. Let's see how this thing performs today. What my plans are, I'm gonna show you the speed that it'll do, and then I'm gonna use it today fishing. I'm not gonna charge it when I go home, and I'm gonna come back and fish it and try to run it out of battery up to two trips. I'm not gonna do more than two trips because I always charge my batteries when I get back home. So if it gets me past today and into the morrow, then it's definitely good enough for me. Gonna do a speed test on it real quick. Now I'm hitting three miles an hour, so that's about right. That's about as fast as I went with my lead acid battery. I'm not sure how well we can see this, but right now I've got it on max speed and I'm using 489 watts. It's listed on the website as a maximum continuous of 1280 watts. So I've got the trolling motor full speed and it also shows me a discharge time. If I slow it down, it goes back up. So I never operate this thing full speed. So I slowed it down to six. Now we got seven hour discharge, eight hours discharge. How much amperage we using? I need a maximum of 55 amps. Let's see what this thing would pull. 
So I'm pulling 38 amps, right about 500 watts. So not bad, definitely more than I need for this trolling motor. The maximum continuous discharge is 100 amps. So definitely good to go there. So I'm only using 37, turn that back off and it goes back to standby. I've got 94%, I've been out here maybe a couple of hours. I've been fighting some pretty good current and I don't normally troll around in current. So it's been uh, taking pretty good beating, so. Filling around on the terminals, I don't feel any kind of heat at all. The air temp is probably about 55 degrees, so I don't feel any kind of heat build up around these terminals. So now I'm gonna talk about my thoughts on the Red Odeo company from what I can uh, gather from their website and through reviews and what they, what they list on their website. So a fast, free delivery, two to five days, it comes from Amazon, so you're gonna get it pretty quick. So you get a five year hassle free warranty without any defects in performance, material or workmanship. You get lifetime customer support and most of all you get, uh, they're promising a 30 day money back guarantee if you're not satisfied with their products. So they have been in business for about 10 years and they claim to have sold over 4 million units across the entire world. I have read through numerous customer reviews and the customers praise the battery's long lasting performance and the great value for the price. So is it worth it upgrading your lead acid battery to a life pull forward battery? Absolutely. If you're looking for performance, reliability, long term savings, this battery is a game changer. Yes, the upfront costs are higher, but when you factor in long lifespan, less weight, consistent power output, low maintenance, overall cost savings, it's a no-brainer. If you're interested in purchasing this battery or any other product from Red Odeo, check the link in the description. Use the code EDO and you can get 6% off of your next purchase. You can also use that link to check out all of their other products that they have as well as view their specifications. If y'all found this review helpful, hit that thumbs up for me. Consider subscribing for more gear reviews and as always, more hunting and fishing videos. I appreciate y'all watching. And until next time, I hope y'all stay safe on the water, and I hope you lemon out. God bless.